God yesterday, today, forever. He never changes. Oh, Jim. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we adore you. Lift up your voice and glorify his name. 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 Lift up your voice we worship you. We glorify you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you, Lord. Wherever you are, you want to declare there is none like Jehovah. There is none like Jehovah. There is none like our God. Oh, our God, we worship you. Our God, we love you. Lift up your voice and adore him. Father, we worship you. We adore you. You. We declare there is none like you, and there will be none like you, O oh God. We bow before you, in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. In the book of Isaiah 33, verse 2, Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm reading from Bible in basic English. I'm reading from Bible in basic English. Say, oh Lord. Because, oh, oh, Erade. Oh Lord. Oh, Erade. Have mercy on us. We are mobile. For we have been waiting for your help. If they are trained, we move in. For our strength every morning. So, but my young one day and a pia. Salvation in time of trouble. Now, young Kajia, what am I name remo? Tonight we are praying that God will have mercy on our nation. That He will touch our economy. That God will turn the economy of Ghana around. That struggling business will begin to do well. Please, wherever you are, you want to declare with me. 
Say, my father, my father. As a major, major. By your word. Have mercy hmm. on Ghana. Ghana, Mopo. And touch our economy. Let and let hardship cease. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you want to do that again with me? Say, my father, my father. By your word. Have mercy hmm. on Ghana. Ghana, Mopo. Lord, have mercy. Hmm. Lord, show this nation mercy. And turn our economy Mopo. around. And let every Every hardship sees. You want to lift up your voice and talk to God. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, you want to lift up your voice and talk to God. In the name of Jesus, our Father, we come in one accord. Every hardship sees. 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 Every Mercy, you will show this nation mercy. Lord, show this nation mercy. And turn our economy around. Lift up your voice wherever you are. You want to intercede for this nation. You want to intercede for this nation. That God will show us mercy. That God will have mercy on the land, on this nation. And turn our economy around. Lift up your voice in the name of. Jesus, uh, lift up your voice uh, and talk to God uh, on behalf of this nation. Uh, you want to say, oh Lord, oh Lord, show this nation mercy, show this nation mercy, show this nation mercy, show this nation mercy. And, and let hardship cease, and let the difficulty cease, let pain cease, Lord, show us mercy, lift up your voice somewhere, wherever you are, you want to talk to God, you want to say, oh Lord, our God, by your word, by your word, show this nation mercy, and God, by your word, by your word, show this nation mercy, and let hardship Seeds. Let every economic hardship let it come to an end in the name of Jesus. Lord, let pain stop in this nation in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus and in the seed for this nation. Lift up your voice and talk to God in the name of Jesus. Our God, we pray in one accord by your word, Lord. Show this nation mercy. Show this nation mercy. And let every hardship cease. According to your word, Lord. We come, oh Lord, in one accord. We ask for mercy. Somebody lift up your voice. And intercede for this nation. Lift up your voice. Wherever you are. And intercede for the nation. You want to say, Lord. Oh Lord. Show Ghana mercy. Ghana mercy. Let every hardship cease in the name of Jesus. Let it cease now. By your mercy, Lord. Let every pain cease. By your mercy, let every difficulty cease in the name of Jesus. Lord, show us mercy. Show this country mercy. And turn our economy around. Lift up your voice and intercede for the nation. Lift up your voice. Talk to God in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, come through for Ghana. Oh Lord, come through for Ghana. Oh Lord, come through for us in the name of Jesus. Show this nation mercy, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 24. And I read, and God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle. And creeping things, and the beast of the earth, after, after his kind, and it was so. Tonight we are praying again that God would touch our land, that our agricultural land will bring produce in abundance, that huge deposit of our natural. Resources will be discovered. Hallelujah. 
So that my path. Ghana will not go to the IMF again. Senior Ghana and IMF. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to declare with me? You want to say, Dimitri. My Father, my Father. Major, major. As we pray, by your, your word, word touch, the land, touch, the land, touch the land. 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 To yield its produce. And let your grace to discover natural resources fall upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, you want to declare again, say, my father, my father, by your word, touch this land, touch Ghana, touch this nation, to yield its produce, and let your grace, let your grace, let your grace, to discover natural resources, fall upon this nation, to discover natural resources, fall upon this nation, to discover natural resources, fall upon this nation, to discover natural resources, we come in one of the by your word, O Lord. Lord, touch the land of this nation in the name of Jesus Christ to yield its produce in abundance in the name of Jesus and let the grace, Lord, to discover natural resources come upon the nation and let up your voice, Lord, let up your voice, let up your voice, let up your voice, wherever you are watching us from, you want to let up your voice and talk to God on behalf of this nation. Uh, we come in one accord in the name of Jesus Father, release your grace, grace to discover uh, and hidden things uh, in this country. Lord, let it be destroyed. Let it be released upon this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice wherever you are. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to say, my father, my father. You want to say, my father, my father. By your word, touch the land. Let the nation be blessed. 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 Let that grace come upon this nation. The grace, O Lord, to discover natural resources. Let it come upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, Lord, 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 you want to talk to God. You want to say, Lord, Lord of our God, by your word, touch this nation, touch the land of this nation, to yield its produce, and let grace, that grace, O Lord, touch the land, touch the land, let it be blessed, 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 are you praying? Let up your voice and talk to God on behalf of this nation. Somebody must pray for this nation. Let up your voice. My God, my God, oh Lord, by your word, let your grace come upon this nation. The grace, oh Lord, to discover natural resources. Let it come upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, Lord, bless the land. Bless the land. To yield its produce in abundance. In the name of Jesus, somebody up here, Lord, and talk to God. Somebody up here, Lord, and talk to God. You want to say, Oh Lord. By your word, Lord, we're standing for this nation. By your word, oh Lord, we're standing, we're standing for this nation, Lord. I have the grace to discover every natural resource from upon this nation. Our God, our God, let our grace, Lord, be raised upon this nation in the name of 
Jesus, that this nation will stand in the name of Jesus, that this nation will cease from going to the IMF, in the name of Jesus, that you are going, sir, wherever you are, you want to talk to God, you want to say, my father, by your word, Lord, bless this land, bless Ghana, bless our land, let it yield, it produce, and abound my father, my father, do it unto us according to your word. Let up your voice. Are you praying? Let up your voice. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God on behalf of this nation. You want to talk to God on behalf of this nation. You want to say, my father, by your word, release that grace, that grace to discover natural resources upon this nation that this nation Lord will discover all the minerals all the hidden treasures to make the country richer to make the nation stand to prevent us from going to IMF Lord let us be the ones to come through for us that this nation my God will stand up your voice and say my father my father come up your voice and talk to God let up your voice and talk to God you want to let us see for the nation. You want to talk to God. Oh, behalf of this nation. In the name of Jesus. You want to talk to God. You want to declare. Say, my father, my father. By your word. Touch the land. 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 Touch the it's our season of change. And your change is coming now in now the name of say, Jesus. We are going to pray. Yeah, but bomb pay. That our heaven shall open this season in the name of Jesus. Our prayer is that our heaven should open. And we shall see the impact of transformation in our lives. In the book of Luke chapter 3, we'll look at some panetremian, sir. verse 21, the Bible says, Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying the heaven was open. Your heaven must open this year in the name of Jesus. The heaven of your business must open this year in the name of Jesus. The heaven of your business must open this year in the name of Jesus. I said the heaven of your children must open this year in the name of Jesus. 
moon. An open heaven is a season of bless. When you enjoy unlimited favor, opportunities let arrive. New connections. New breakthroughs. That's why I'm praying with you this night. That your heavens will open this year in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let's look at what the Bible says in the book of Psalm 78. Psalm 78. The Bible says, Though he had commanded the clouds from above, had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of and opened the doors of heaven, now we be upon and I rain down manna upon them, now I talk manna to eat, and I've given them of the corn of heaven. Now, what's that one? The if it's our mouth or through a bro, man did eat angels' food. Nipa edi above four ediane. He sent them me to the full. Osma aye enam ebreum. May God supply all your need this year in the name of Jesus. Ebade emaniya we hear ni na afi we Jesus di nemo. We are praying. Ye be bom paye. That oh Lord my Father. Oh erade miyango pum. Be pleased to open the heaven for my family. Yes, I say be be osro. Oh Lord my Father. Oh erade miyango pum. Be pleased to open the heavens. Yes, I say be be osro. Of my family. Oh me busiya so. Of my business. Any mitre di so. Of my life. So that it shall be well with me this year. I want you to open your mouth and talk to God. That the heavens of your life shall open this year. That the heaven of your children. The heaven of your business. The heaven of your marriage. The heaven of your finances shall open this year. Open your mouth and talk to God. That this year, that my heaven. Heaven of my children, heaven of my home, heaven of my business, heaven of my marriage, must be hoping by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens open by the power of the Holy Ghost. My heaven be open by the power of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and talk to God. My heaven, your heaven, the heavens of the family of this church, every member of this church. Our heaven by the power of the Holy Ghost, let God rain the heaven. Let God rain the heavens. Let God rain the heavens. And let the hopeful heaven come upon your family. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. 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 Open Jesus, our heaven must open. Our business must go forward. Everything we do this year must experience the power of hope and heaven. In the name of Jesus, I want you to talk to God. This is your year. This is your season. That heaven must open. Jesus Christ, heaven must open. Your own heaven must open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Talk to God. Talk to God. That my heavens must open. In the name of Jesus. Talk to God. That this year, my heavens, the heaven of my children, the heaven of my business, everything that concerns me must experience the hope of heaven. In the name of Jesus. In love of close heaven. In love of close heaven. The heaven over my life. My brother, so the heaven over my business. I declare open now. I command it to open now. Blessing will come. 
opportunity we come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name we pray I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus every close heaven now open in the name of Jesus we are you turn to we are you turn to you will experience an open heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 6 to 8, this is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shed the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations and what is desired by all nations we call and I will fill this house with the glory of God say the Lord your heaven shall open this year in the name of Jesus you are going to lift up your voice once again I say this year oh Lord rend the heavens tear the heavens let the heavens open let my blessing come. Let my glory rise. Let my light shine. Let my breakthrough come. Let the heavens open. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, open your mouth and talk to God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and talk to God. This year. This year. This year. This year. This year. My heavens shall be open. My heavens. My heavens. Must open. Our heavens. For my children, for my business, for my finances, was hoping everywhere that I go, I will go upon my head in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. Talk to God. That the heavens of God must hoping upon your life, upon your home, upon your business. No more delay. No more denial. No more delay. Your heavens must open by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing in the name of Jesus. Talk to God. Open your mouth and talk to God. Open your mouth and talk to God. 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 Talk to in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I release the word of God into your life. This is your heaven is open in the name of Jesus. Your testimony will come speedily in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are still praying. Our second prayer point is that you are praying that in 2024, any mountain of failure, mountain of failure, every mountain of defeat, mountain of disappointment, mountain of struggle and hardship. They must be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, the Bible says, So he said to me, This is the word of the Lord. So Zerubbabel, that Zerubbabel, you can put your name there. And you say, This is the word of the Lord. So me, Michael, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. What are you, O mountain? Before my care, to become a level ground, then he will bring all the cup to shout. God bless it. God is blessing you this year in the name of Jesus. And every mountain, every hill, 
Bonja Biya. Every stumbling block. Aye, Osi Akwa Biya. And they want to stand against you. A person, a genetic one. Let the power of God level them out. Ready to me, Emmanuel. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to lift your hand. I say, Oh Lord, my Father. I say, Ready, Major. Oh Lord, my God. I say, Ready, Minyan Kopo. Any mountain of failure. Aye, Enkubwo Diye be popular. Any mountain of defeat. Aye, Enkubwo Diye be popular. Any mountain of disappointment. Aye, Enkubwo Diye be popular. Any mountain of struggle. Aye, Obra Pra 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 be popular. Any mountain of hardship. Aye, Enmre Mwaya Diye be popular. That be holding me down. Holding my family down. Holding my business down. Give way. Give way. Give way. Give way. Open your mouth and talk to God. In the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says so. That there is no mountain that can stand before the Lord. Every mountain standing against you. Mountain of failure. Mountain of defeat. Mountain of disappointment. Mountain of lack. Mountain of lack. They shall be destroyed by the reason of anointing. They shall be removed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Talk to God. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's take one more prayer point. Job chapter nine. Job chapter nine. Job chapter nine. Job chapter nine. Verse five and six. The Bible says, "He moves mountains without the anointing. It overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth from his place and made the pillar tremble. Every power confronting your forward movement." To me, Bia and it won't kind of a DC. Every power to me, Bia confronting and it your forward movement won't kind of a DC by the power in the name of Jesus. To me, away, yes, Udimu, they must be uprooted. I was here to two by the power of the Holy Ghost. Talk to God, talk to God, talk to God, that every mountain, every hill, every stumbling block. That is standing against us by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let them be removed. Let them be scattered. Let them be removed. Let them be scattered. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let them be scattered. By the word of God, in the name of Jesus, over every mountain that has been set against your life, you want to pray tonight that in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let yeah, that mountain be cast away. Every demonic mountain, powers of darkness, who had raised mountains against your life. Bible says, Oh, what a down! You mountain before Zerubbabel, and you want to pray that any mountain, any spiritual mountain that has hindered your life all this year. In the season of fasting and prayer, you want to declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that the mountain will relocate into the waters. Let that mountain disappear from your life. And the family mountain that has been given to you, that have been programmed against your life, that is guiding your life, denying you access into the basic things of life. You want to pray tonight in the name of Jesus that the mountain I will give way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mama. Before I take my prayer point, you want to pray this prayer. You want to take authority and dominion over any spirit of heaviness, any spirit of weakness, any spirit of laziness, any demonic attack on you, making it difficult for you to pray even at night, any spirit of unnecessary stress, it must leave you because you are about to break through. And somebody you need energy. Somebody say Holy Ghost. I say Lord. 
Somebody said, fire of God. Come upon me and cast away in the spirit of heaviness, in the spirit of spiritual weakness, in the spirit of demonic stress. I command you, come out of my life. Come out now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Cast it off your life. Cast it out. Cast it out. Cast it out. The devil cannot stand when there is fire. When your fire is on, demons cannot play. So to some people, they even make them sick. Because when you are sick, you become vulnerable. You cannot do warfare well. Because the body is weak. Demons take advantage. Tonight, as you fast and pray, you want to cast the spirit of sickness and the disease and the weakness and the laziness and the heaviness upon your life. Cast it out. Cast it out. In the name of Jesus. Because you are about to break through. You are almost there. But you need a push. You need strength. You need that force. Like a pregnant woman who is about to give birth. You still need that energy to push the baby. You need power. You need fire. You need the anointing. You need the Holy Ghost. You need strength. You need vital. Oh God, arise and deal with that spirit on our behalf. In Jesus' name. Yes, you can clap if you want. We want to pray against every counsel. You want to pray against every counsel. Every plan. Desire. Expectation. Imagination. Devices. And any activity of the enemy against you and your family. You want, to, you want to render those activities null and void. Acts, Acts 12 11. And when Peter came out and realized that he has been delivered, he said, Now when Peter realized, he said, I know that the Lord has sent his angel to deliver me so from the expectation and free of Herod and the Jews. Uh, yeah. So, so they, they were all having expectations. The enemies in our family, they also have expectations. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the Bible says that for I know the thought I'm thinking towards you. Not of evil, but of good. To give you an expected end, I discover that our enemies also have expectation. They also have a thought that is the satanic version of this. And their thought and plan, devices, schemes, and orchestrations are all to make sure you will not break through. And you want to cast those imaginations down. According to 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4, the Bible says that you will have to cast down imagination and any high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God for your life. Somebody say Lord. I say Holy Ghost. Say let the expectation of my enemies this year be disappointed. Say whoever has evil expectation towards my life, my marriage, my dignity, my destiny, my favor, my through and your purpose for so my life. Let your expectations let it backfire and, and render it null and void. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Somebody open your mouth. Your enemy's expectation probably has worked for them over the years. So I encounter people. I see people. I encounter people and they tell you that I was supposed to break through, but something happened in the time I am about to break through, in the time I get 
want somebody to marry me without me doing nothing. All of a sudden, something happens and it will not come on. Demonic expectations are being utilized. Are being utilized. You want to pray that every power, every force, every counsel, every imagination, satanic devices, wickedness, family satanic powers, covenant and curses that are the devices of your enemies against your life to even frustrate you. And this year, this hour, as you pray, let their counsel, let it be frustrated like that of Ahitophel. David prayed this prayer. David saw it and David realized if I don't pray this prayer, Ahitophel, 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 and his counsel will eliminate me before my time. So David prayed. He said, Lord, turn the counsel of Ahitophel into foolishness. You also want to pray that in the counsel of your father's house, in the counsel of your mother's lineage, in the counsel that fought your mother and overcame your mother, that same counsel subdued your father. It did not allow them to live long in just sickness and their way. You want to pray that all Lord, let that counsel be frustrated. Lord, I arise against the counsel of the wicked against my life. Say in the plan to deny me my marriage. I frustrate it. I come against in the altar raising my family and my generation against marriages, against childbirth, and the curse, and the curse that is influencing my life. So this evening, by reason of the anointing, I decree and I declare let that power, let it break, let it break, let it break. Say any root issue, any power, that your father or your mother couldn't uproot. It's your time. You have to uproot it. When my father's failed, I will not fail them. I will succeed. So pray that let the imagination, let evil counsel, satanic thoughts, satanic agendas, evil schemes, orchestrations, devices, designs, demonic oppressions against your family, against your bloodline, in the name of Jesus. As we are celebrating Easter, let the influence of the cross interfere with my family powers. Let the blood silence any blood sacrifice in my house in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. You are going to pray. One of the most painful things in life is to be delayed. Let me tell you, delay is a demon. Delay has led a lot of people into anxiety. And when you enter into the state of anxiety, if you are not careful, you make mistakes. You do things you don't want to do. Even our father Abraham, the father of faith, because of delay, he quickly accepted the advice of the wife. And when for Hagar. I discovered that the man was becoming frustrated. Proverbs 13, 12 says, hope defers. Hope defers. Will make your heart sick. Faith will sustain you for a time. But if God don't come quickly, and I profess that God is coming now, that is why it is our year of God's power. You will not fall into the state of anxiety. God will deliver you. He said, hope 
empty fair will make your heart sick. You want to pray that, Lord, any delay in your life, Lord, hasten your word to perform my miracle. This morning, our Father spoke on miracles. I believe in miracles. Your marital miracle will settle your enemies. Financial miracle will change your story. Whether you are working or not, if God gives you some hundred thousand today, tomorrow morning you will be laughing. Say, Lord. Ah, ah, say, Lord. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Say, I take authority. Say, I take dominion. Over every spirit of backwardness, retrogression. I take authority over every spirit of stagnation. Making time. Delay in my life. I come against that power. I pray the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hasten your word to perform my miracle. Glorify yourself in my life by reason of my knee. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Come against delay. Delay has caused a lot of trouble. I saw even saw King Saul because somewhere delayed he offered a sacrifice and that sacrifice at that point he shouldn't have done if somewhere had come he wouldn't have offered that sacrifice but because of delay but you see somewhere was just at the corner wait for the Lord wait for the Lord Abraham waited even though he messed up on that line yet God came Sarah had Isaac God will surely come God will come no matter what don't let delay usher you into a state of anxiety when you get to that place you will make mistakes if you are not careful you will take decisions that will affect your life so you want to pray and bind the spirit of delay in the name of Jesus. You want to pray against the spirit of retrogression and the backwardness stagnation in life and the marking time. You want to ask for the speed for the speed and the hastening of the Holy Ghost to perform a miracle now in the name of Jesus. Pray that oh Lord perform a miracle. Let the good promises that you have given me let them come to pass. Every limitation every resistance every opposition every obstruction every distraction and the power of hell fighting your life making sure that you will be delayed and be denied until you enter into that state where your life as if God will not come that you would want to make your own decision oh God pray that you will be delivered let the spirit of delay be broken now let the power be broken over your life in the name of Jesus in the altar of delay raised against your life all these years let it come to an end let a miracle settle it a miracle will change the story now, that young lady that man come in your way that man of God come in your way that child of God will bring laughter to you Elizabeth said when that miracle took place the seed of John the Baptist the Bible says Elizabeth said the Lord has taken away my reproach he said now people will celebrate with me you need a miracle you need a breakthrough to overrule the power of delay to overcome spirit of retrogression to overcome anxiety to overcome making time to overcome the spirit
spirit of stagnation, you are moving forward by the speed of the Holy Ghost. That is a miracle. You need a miracle. You need a miracle. Oh Lord, let there be a miracle. Miracle can do things. Miracle will settle your enemies. Miracle will make your enemies bow to you. They will say, indeed, you are going up and down into the house of God. It's not in vain. Don't wait. Don't allow your enemies to mock at you and to mock at God. Make them know that the God of Perez Chapel, make them know that the God of our Father, the High Bishop, is a living God, a God of miracles, a God of signs, a God of wonders. You want to pray that, oh Lord, I need a miracle. Perform a miracle right now. And I believe that that miracle will settle my issue and to change my story. In the name of Jesus, in the satanic, in the projection, in the demonic attack on my life, attack on my prayers, attack on my Christian living. Oh God, let the enemy be disappointed. Let there be a divine speed. Let there be a divine hastening. The Lord told Jeremiah, he said, I will hasten my way to perform it. You want to pray the Lord hasten your way concerning my marriage, hasten your way concerning my breakthrough so that I will not take my life into my own hands. I am waiting for you. I am waiting on you. Somebody talk to Jehovah. Thank God. I am waiting. I can do some things by myself. But because of your name, I don't owe myself. I am not my own. That is why I am waiting. That is why I am here. That is why I am praying. That is why I am calling on you because I know and I believe that you have what it takes to change my story. You have the power to to hasten activities and miracles in my life this evening. Oh Lord, tonight let there be a miracle. Let there be a notable miracle. Let there be undeniable signs. Let there be wonders. Shock my enemies. Surprise my own family. Surprise my mother's house. Surprise my friends who are out there misbehaving and are mocking me. Oh Jehovah, arise this hour. Surprise them. Do something new. Do a miracle. Manifest your power. It will consume the force of delay. In the delay, I have experienced all these years. I bring it to an end right now by reason of this prayer, by reason of the Holy Ghost, power working in me, oh God of Abraham, oh God of Isaac, God of Jacob, God of our Father, we are Bishop, hear my cry, come through now, I am your child, I demand my breakthrough, I am for you, you are my God, my only hope, oh God, arise in your power, demonstrate your power, demonstrate your fire. You want to talk to God, you want to lift up prayer, you want to lift up prayer, you want to talk to God, you want to lift up prayer tonight, you want to talk to God, you want to lift up your voice, you want to talk to God, you want to lift up prayer, you want to find the flames of prayer tonight, you want to talk to God, you want to talk to God, you want to lift up prayer, you want to talk to God tonight, in Jesus name, can we give Jesus a mighty mighty clap? Yesterday we prayed against untimely death. Tonight we are going to pray for good health 
divine health and strength. Without good health, we cannot enjoy the promises of God. Without good health, you can have a million dollars in the bank, but you will not be able to enjoy. Without good health, you cannot work. You will only be taken from what you have invested and what you have put down. But we are going to pray that this year for you and your household, good health will be your portion. So you can amass several millions of CDs or dollars, but good health can squander it in one month or in one year. This year, may sickness not be a devourer in your life. I said, this year, may sickness not be a devourer in the life of your children. If you were the one, your amen would have been louder. So the Bible says in Psalm 105 verse 37. The Bible says he also brought them out with silver and gold. And there was none feeble among his tribes. He brought them out with silver and gold. God, God knew that the silver and gold would mean nothing if sickness was their portion. We are going to pray, God, for every blessing you have for us this year. Lord, may good health be our portion. And I pray that in 2024, sickness will be far from you. If you are here, you want to lift up your right hand with me. And you want to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I reject the spirit of weariness and feebleness this year. You want to say, Lord, this year, no sickness, no disease will deprive me of my blessing. You want to say, Lord, this year I will enjoy every blessing you have for me. You want to say, Lord, I decree and I declare that me and my household are walking in strength and good health throughout the year. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. Good health and strength and physical vitality. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. Good health and strength and physical vitality. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. Lord, let good health and strength Strength be our portion this year. You want to talk to God, Lord? Let strength be our portion this year. Lord, we pray that we will not be feeble. Lord, I pray that my children will not be sick. Lord, I pray that my spouse will not be sick. You want to talk to God? You want to talk to God? You want to lift up prayer? You want to talk to God? You want to lift up prayer? Prayer. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up prayer. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up prayer. You want to talk to God. Lord, we will not be sick. Lord, we will not be sick. He brought them out with silver and with gold. And there was none feeble among them. Lord, this year, I will not spend a fortune going to the hospital. Lord, this year, I will not spend a fortune. Treating my 
myself. Lord, this year, I will not spend a fortune buying medication. Lord, this year, I will not spend a fortune going to the hospital. Lord, this year, I will not spend a fortune going to the emergency room. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, this year, Lord, this year, Lord, this year, he brought them out with silver and gold. He brought them out with silver and gold. And he added unto them good health. And there was none feeble among them. There was none feeble among them. Lord, this year, there will be none feeble in my house. Lord, this year, there will be none feeble in my household. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, for every blessing, Lord, I receive strength to enjoy it. You want to talk to God. He brought them out with silver and gold. And there was none feeble among them. You want to talk to God. Lord, this year, I refuse to be sick. Lord, this year, no one in my household is going to be sick. Lord, this year, we will not spend money going to the emergency room. Lord, this year, we will not spend money going to the hospital. Lord, this year, we will not spend money on medication. Lord, I decree and I declare divine health. Lord, I decree and I declare divine health for me and my household, for every member of the Perez family. You want to talk to God. 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 He brought them out with silver and gold. And there was none feeble among his tribes. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, for every member in this church, we pray that they will be free from sickness and disease. Lord, we pray that in this church, there will be none feeble. That's trying to be our person. You want to talk to God. 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 Lord, we pray for strength. Lord, we pray for energy. Lord, we pray for fiscal vitality. Lord, there was none feeble. There was none feeble. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up prayer. You want to lift up prayer. You want to lift up prayer. He brought them out with silver and gold. And there was none feeble among them. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. There was none feeble. Lord, every spirit of feebleness. Lord, we cancel it this year. Lord, we pray that we will not be feeble. We want to talk to God. We want to talk to God. Lord, we'll be strong every day of this year. Lord, we'll be strong every week of this year. Lord, we will not be weak. Lord, we will not be broken now. Lord, we will not be paralyzed. Lord, we will not be stricken by sickness and disease. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, we will not be feeble this year. Our family will not be feeble. You want to talk to God. 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 This year, we will not be feeble. Lord, this year, we will not be feeble. Lord, this year, we will not be feeble. We want to talk to God. We want to talk to God. Lord, this year, we will not be feeble. In Jesus' name, your amen can be louder. If you want to read this scripture again, what it means is that good health is as priceless as silver and gold. He also brought them out with silver and gold. And there was none feeble amongst his tribes. What this means is that God brought them out 
with silver and gold and good health. Because without good health, silver and gold is useless. This year, may sickness not make the blessing of God useless in your life. Ah, the one with the loudest amen receive a double portion. This year, may sickness not make God's blessing useless in your life. You want to lift up your hand with me. You want to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that this year I will walk in good health. You want to say, Lord, I decree that every day of 2024 I will be in good health. You want to say, Lord, this year I will not be weary. I will not be feeble. You want to say, Lord, this year I will not break down. You want to say, Lord, this year I will be strong and I will enjoy every blessing of God for me and my household. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. Good health is as priceless as silver and gold. Lord, we pray that this year every blessing. We will enjoy. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, we pray for good health. We pray for strength. Lord, if last year I broke down three times, Lord, this year I reject breaking down. I will not break down. Lord, if last year I took my family to the emergency room five times this year, Lord, we are not visiting the emergency room. Lord, there will be no emergencies. Lord, we will be strong. Lord, there will be no emergency. Lord, there will be no crisis. This year, you want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, we will be healthy. Lord, we will be strong. You want to talk to God. 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 The Lord will be healthy. This year, the Lord will be healthy. This year, the Lord will not break down. The Lord will not be carried to the emergency room. The Lord will not collapse and be carried to the emergency room. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. The Lord this year, divine health is our portion. The Lord this year, divine health is our portion. The Lord this year, I will not lie down in any emergency room. The Lord this year, I will not go on admission. The Lord this year, none of my children. The Lord this year, my spouse will not go to the emergency room. He will not go on admission. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. The Lord this year will be protected. The Lord this year, divine hell will be our portion. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. The Lord this year will be protected. The Lord this year will be preserved. You want to lift up your prayer tonight. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up your prayer tonight. You want to talk to God. The Lord will be healthy. The Lord will be strong. The Lord will claim divine health and strength. In Jesus' name. The Bible says in Psalm 92, verse 12 to 14. The Bible says, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. 
and he shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. This year, I decree over your life that you flourish like a palm tree, that you grow like the cedar in Lebanon. Say, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. This year, may you bear fruit. They shall be fresh and flourishing. When people meet you this year, may they see that you are fresh and you are flourishing. May that be somebody's testimony tonight. And amen will call it to pass. May that be somebody's blessing. You want to lift up your hand. You want to say, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I take authority and I reject every sickness, every disease that will ground me this year. You want to say, Lord, I decree and I declare and I reject every disease and sickness that will ground me this year. You want to say, Lord, any devourer of my health, I silence you tonight. You want to say, any devourer of my health in 2024, I silence you tonight. You want to say, Lord, any disease, any infection, any health condition that will ground me this year by the fire of the Holy Ghost be consumed tonight be consumed tonight you want to say Lord any disease any infection any health condition that will ground me this year by the fire of the Holy Ghost be consumed tonight be consumed tonight be consumed tonight you want to lift up your voice you want to talk to God you want to lift up your voice you want to talk to God God. You want to lift up your voice. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Lord, this year I will flourish like the palm tree. Lord, the palm tree that survives without water. The palm tree that survives the storm of life. Lord, this year, I will flourish like the palm tree. Lord, this year, I will grow like the cedar of Lebanon. Lord, this year, I will be fresh and flourishing. You want to talk to God. 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 The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Lord, I pray that this year, whatever the enemy will throw at me, I will flourish like the palm tree. Lord, this year, I will flourish. Lord, this year, I will be fresh. Lord, this year, I will flourish. Lord, this year, I will grow like the cedar of Lebanon. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord, those who are planted in the house of the Lord, they shall flourish in the courts of their God. You want to talk to God. Lord, this year, this year, this year, Lord, from this altar, I draw strength. Lord, from this altar, I flourish. From from this altar, I'll be fresh. You want to talk to God? You want to talk to God? The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. You want to lift up prayer? You want to talk to God? Lord, this year, Lord, this year, I will flourish like the palm tree and I will grow like the cedar of Lebanon. Lord, any sickness, Lord, 
Lord, any infection, Lord, any disease, Lord, any health condition that will ground me this year, Lord, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it be consumed, Lord, any sickness in my body, any sickness lying dormant, waiting to raise his head this year by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it be consumed. Let it be consumed. You want to talk to God. 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 Lord, this year I will be fresh and I will flourish. Lord, this year I will be like the palm tree. Lord, this year I will flourish in the court of my God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, this year I will flourish. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, this year I decree that I will be strong. I decree that my wife is strong. I decree that my children are strong. I decree that in your school they are strong. Lord, I decree in their university. Lord, they are strong. I decree that I die in abroad. That they are strong. You want to talk to God. 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 Lord, we will be strong. In Jesus' name. Ah, this year may strength be your portion. This year, may you be fresh for the rest of the year. May you flourish for the rest of the year. From, from. If you went to the emergency room last year, this year it will not happen again. For affliction will not happen a second time. Receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. Of late, there has been a lot of talk about poisoning and, and, and so on and so forth. So, so now, wherever you go, if there's any food, you look at it twice before you eat it. But this year, may God bless your food and your water. This year, may nothing that has been dropped in your food or your water affects you in the name of Jesus. He says, so you shall serve the Lord your God. And he will bless your bread. And your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. One of the things that takes sickness away is the blessing of God over our bread and our water. Whatever you eat this year, whatever you drink this year, it may be at a party, it may be on the funeral ground. May God bless it for you in the name of Jesus. I say, may God bless you for you in the name of Jesus. You, you want to lift up your hand. You want to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this year, no sickness or disease will have a place in my body. You want to say, Lord, I decree that me, and my loved ones and will be free home. from sickness Every home. and disease. And home. You want to say, Lord, I anything I eat Maybe or drink, Amen. This year will never, uh, will never, uh, will never uh, affect me negatively. Uh, negatively. Uh, Don't say, Lord, uh, anything uh, that I eat uh, or drink uh, that has been poisoned. Uh, Don't say, Lord, uh, Don't say, Lord, uh, I neutralize it. I neutralize it. I neutralize it. You want to say, Lord. I bless every food and water that I drink this year. You want to lift up prayer. 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 Any gathering you find yourself with your friends, with your enemies, 
Only one at, at a party. I want to at attend. a funeral. I want to say. I may call. Bless your water and, and your food. And you are and so. David said. Okay, so. He sets a table uh, uh, before me uh, in the presence uh, of my enemies. Uh, Lord, this year uh, I will not be afraid uh, of my enemies. Uh, Lord, because uh, so. you will bless my food uh, so. and my water. Uh, so, so. Lord, this year, uh, this year, uh, uh, more uh, sickness uh, uh, or disease. You will find a place in my life or in my family. You want to talk to God. 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 Lord, this year, we will be strong. We will do exploits. Those that do know their God, they shall be strong. They shall do exploits. Lord, this year, we will be strong. Lord, this year, we will be energized. Lord, this year, we will not be feeble. Lord, this year, you will bless our bread and our water. And you will take sickness away from us. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up prayer. Lord, this year, Lord, this year, Lord, this year, me and my household, Lord, this year, sickness and disease, we we'll have no hiding place in our bodies. Whatever we eat, this year will never affect us negatively. You want to talk to God. 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 Lord, in the gathering of our enemies, in the gathering of our friends, Lord, in strange gatherings, Lord, in gatherings we don't know. Lord, we pray that nothing we eat or drink or put in our mouth will affect us negatively. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, this year, Lord, this year, we will not be affected. We will not be affected. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, preserve our health. Lord, preserve our lives. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. He set a table before me in the presence. He set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Lord, my enemies will not have their way. Lord, no food I eat. Innocently, no water I drink. Innocently, will affect me negatively. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. Nothing my children will eat. Nothing my spouse will eat will affect them negatively. Nothing given to them this year will affect them. Lord bless our food and our water. Lord bless our food and our water. You want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. Lord, bless our food. Bless our water. Lord, keep us and preserve us. In Jesus' name. You want to lift up your hand and you want to thank the Lord. You want to lift up your hand. You want to thank the Lord for answering prayer. We will walk in good health. We will be strong. We will be healthy. We will not be weary. We will not be weak. We will not be feeble. We will not be sick. You want to thank the Lord. You want to thank the Lord. Your children will be healthy. The days where you go to the emergency room, many times a year, this year may the story change. This year may the story be different. You want to thank the Lord tonight. You want to thank the Lord tonight. You want to bless His holy name.
mighty clap of praise. A mighty, mighty clap of praise. And you want to pick a quality seat tonight. We are now season of fasting and prayer. There's a corporate grace and anointing over this church. You don't want to be out of the fasting atmosphere. You don't, you don't want to be the only one eating when everybody is fasting and being blessed under this corporate room. You want to pick a quality scene. And if you are watching us and you want to give, you want to dial star 800, star 1000 hash. Across all networks. And there are no transaction fees or e levy charges. You can also give via 0243. 0243- 0624 or you can give a Vodafone cash and now with me the alpha uh, telecell and the number or telcel the number is 020 numero no 020 316 316 2084 2084 020 020 316 316 2084 2084 and then if you are watching from outside Ghana, okay, if you, you can give a send wave or world remit or tap tap send send wave world remit and tap tap send and the name is Perez Chapel International. The number is plus two three three. Two zero two zero three one six three one six twenty eighty four. And you can also give our PayPal. Which we have a PayPal. And the account name is Perez Dome. Account name near Perez Dome. The username is at Perez Dome. Username near at Perez Dome. And the email is Perez Dome at Perez Chapel.org. Email near Perez Dome at Perez Chapel.org. If you want to give 200 CDs and above, you want to come and drop it on the altar. If you want to give 200 CDs and above, you want to come and drop it on the altar. If you want to give 100 CDs and above, you want to come and drop it on the altar. If you want to give 100 CDs and above, you want to come and drop it on the altar. You want to come and drop it on the altar. This year will be a different year. You want to give 50 CDs and above. You want to come and drop it on the altar. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. from And they shall grow like the cedars of Lebanon. You want to give 20 CDs. You want to give 10, you want to give 5, you want any amount that I've not mentioned, you want to come and drop it. They shall bear fruit in their old age. And they shall be fresh and flourishing. Ah, this year, that will be your story. Like the palm tree. Without water, still is fresh. Whether there is a storm or tornado, the palm tree is still standing. Flourish like the palm tree. From, from, no matter Abed. what is happening around it, it shall grow like the cedars of Lebanon. May that be your story and your testimony. Our Father is in the house. Can we ask Him to bless us? Can we stand to our feet? And welcome Him. To the mighty, mighty clap. Will you put one hand on your forehead? Lift up the other hand. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our resurrected King. I pray for your sons and daughters. And I ask that you who is a prayer answering God. You will meet your people at the point of need. You will visit your people. You will give them a testimony. You satisfy their mouth with good things. You give them strength, health, physical, vital. This year, may 
year afimu let it be a year of strength and health ma enya afia ye benya ho den ene apomudu this year afimu if your people drink any deadly thing say o o ma eno ma udro mpo a let it not harm them e ma enka won let it instead turn to vitamins for them ma enya enuanedro e ma won in the name of jesus e wo yesu dine mu let your people experience your silver and your gold ma onkrofo enya enya ojitan ni usika okko opening doors for them I bless in the work of their hands. I show in them favor. May God cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. Any moon shine mount. May he open doors for you. Omu apuno mount. May he give you victory continually. Omu mount kunimdi en tongo so. Go in the power of the Lord. Ko awo eradi. The fasting and prayer continues tomorrow night. Come turn in by one day at least two people. Don't suffer any pain. God bless you. Amen. Inshallah.